because the, they're swapping sides of the field. <laughs> and Shaylin Pleasant. All right, we didn't get set up right. Let's flip it around. Cobby County's going to kick it off left to right on your radio dial. Blackman will return it right to left. I don't do good with north, south, east, and west, so don't ask Yeah, hey, I don't know where we're facing. I don't know. I, I think we're facing east. Um, kicking off for Coffee County will be the sophomore, Ian Weldon, who uh, was kicking a decent pregame. Yeah. I, I, they want him to get the ball, I think, up a little higher. I think that's what they want. They want their return team to get down. Yeah, I remember last week against Tullahoma, the Raiders struggled on kickoff coverage. They want to do better today. Again, back deep for the Blaze. It's Gaunt, Lark, and Pleasant. Ian Weldon got his hand in the air. We got the whistle. We're ready to play. And we are underway from Murfreesboro. He pops it up short. Going to be caught by the up back at around the 23. Going to try to get it to the middle of the field and cut it up. He's pulled down at a 35-yard line. Good job on the tackle there. I think that was Kelby Walker. Yeah, good job by Walker, uh, Walker there on that kickoff coverage. Good job by Coffee County. Good kick by Weldon. Plenty of air under that one. Kicked it down to the 25, so only a 10-yard return. Well, Lark tried to force it back to the middle of the field. Yeah. Didn't have a lot of room there. So first and 10, Blackman will scrimmage from the 35. As we get underway here in the first quarter, quarterback for the Blaze is going to be number 18, Drew Beam. He's a big, tall guy. He's going to start off in the shotgun. We saw a lot of – nope, he's going to go up under center. Nope. <laughs> he's going, <laughs> he's 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 Two receivers to the right, one to the left. He's got a tailback back there next to him. It's Hudson Jackson. Three-year starter, Drew Beam, for the Blackman Blaze. That's not Hudson Jackson, though. That is a tailback gaunt going to be behind, beside him. He's going to take it. He's going to hand it off to Gaunt. Running right, trying to get outside. He does get outside. He crosses the 40, the 45 to the 50. The 45 and he's going to be pushed out of bounds. But if you look way back here at about the 38, there's a flag and it's going to be, I think, a block in the back or a hold. I agree with you there. It's it's either a block in the back or maybe even a blindside block. They did a crackback block on the on the linebacker. So we'll see if they if it was actually a push in the back or maybe a, a blindside hit. But nonetheless, it's against Blackman, and it's a big one. Yeah, it's going to be a big one. And Coach Green talked about this in the pregame show with you, talked about it Wednesday on the Coach Doug Green show. They're going to call us a, a, a straight hold. Um, but he talked about he, he didn't think Blackman was all that disciplined. So he thinks they can explo exploit that tonight. So that's going to push it back uh, from the spot of the foul to the 28 now. So that makes it first and 17 now. Now the regular starting tailback is back there, Hudson Jackson, Andrew Hudson Jackson. And they draw Coffee County offside. Looks like Derek Scott may have jumped the defensive end for Coffee County. So five of those are going to go back the other way. Yeah, got him in the neutral zone. Hard count there by Drew Beam. Gets five of it back, so now first and 12. So an interesting start to this game. It sure is. Two penalties, <laughs> one on Blackman, now one on Coffee County. Now Blackman will scrimmage from about the 33-yard line. That makes it first and 12. Beam in the shotgun. Hudson Jackson goes in motion. He's going to throw it to him on the swing pass. Catches it at the 30, crosses the 35, gets a good head of steam, and he's tripped up and knocked down at the 40. First person there on the tackle for Coffee County is Henry Garcia. Gain of seven there on the swing pass to Hudson Jackson. Good job by Garcia and by Jalen Williams to make that tackle. Second and five ball at the 40 of Blackman. Beam looks over the sideline. Blackman doesn't necessarily hurry, but they don't huddle. They do kind of what everybody does now. They kind of look the sideline, get their play, and got a whistle. I think that's an equipment issue for Blackman. They're going to send someone off the field. It's Hudson Jackson. Yeah, and that's the starting tailback. He's going to come out, so that's going to send out Charles Gaunt, who will be at tailback now. Blackman will have two receivers to the right, one to the left. You know, we watched a lot of the Alcoa film. They were under center a lot. Right, yeah, they exactly. They, they were coming out in the shotgun here today. Two receivers right, tied into the right. Tailback to the right is Gaunt. Beam takes it, going to hand it off to Gaunt at the middle. He cuts it up, and he's tripped up right at the line of scrimmage. He only got about a yard. Great job by Zach Gailey to come up from the outside linebacker position and hit him after a gain of just about one. Maybe they're going to give him two, but nonetheless, it's third and a long three for Blackman. Yeah, ball just short of the 37. The Blaze need to get right to, or excuse me, ball just short of the 42. Uh, Blaze need to get to the 45-yard line to get a first down here. Be a big stop early here if the Raiders can get it defensively. Two receivers right, one to the left beam. Going to hand it off to Gaunt going right. He's going to get across the 45 to the 46, just enough for a Blackman first down. Yeah, needed three and a half, got four, so first down for Blackman. Good job by the Coffee County defense to kind of sew that up. 
but nonetheless, a gain of four, and it's going to be first down Blackman ball at the forty at their own 46. Big point of contention this week for Coach Green was talking about containment. We have to keep them contained. We can't give up big splash plays. We'll make them drive it and make them mess up. So you might take that. Uh, checking in for Blackman, going to be Justin Brown, senior wide receiver. Excuse me, sophomore wide receiver. We got a whistle. More whistles. Coming from the back judge, I think. Oh, we got oh. Another equipment. Another equipment. player getting kicked off the field. Yeah. Equipment violation, I guess. Checking in for the blaze is number three, Todd Lark. He'll be at receiver, beam in the backfield. Shotgun formation. Going to take it. Going to hand it off to his starting tailback, Hudson Jackson. And he's going to get across the 50. He's going to break outside of the 45 to the 40, fighting through tackles. He runs hard. He's going to cross the Raider 40. He's taken down at the 39. Gain of about 15 there and a big first down. Hudson Jackson with some great moves in the open field, and he's a load to bring down, lowers his head. 15 yards, first down Blackman. Yeah, you're right, Murray. He's a load. You feel like he's quick too, but you feel like Gaunt is more of the shifty guy. Yeah. And Hudson Jackson's more of the power guy. He's looking for contact. Beam will remain at quarterback. Got a new tailback in. Is Jalen Pleasant. Not seen him carry it yet. He was in on kick return. Very deep Blackman team. A lot of players. Sometimes hard to find what to do with all these guys. Yeah, a lot of double numbers we Tri see. Trips to the left. Pleasant will be to the right of Beam. Going to take it. Going to hand it off to Pleasant. Tries to cut it outside. There's a flag late. Breaking a tackle and fighting up to about the 37 will be Pleasant. But there's a flag that came in on the snap. Let's see what that is. Usually on the snap, it's either an offside or a legal motion, so yeah. we'll see one legal of the two. Legal formation as well yeah. sometimes. You don't have enough people on the line of scrimmage, and that's, that's what it's going to be. Yep. We'll take it. It's a loss of five. It'll be first down and 15. Ball placed at the 44-yard line of Blackman. Yeah, 44 and a half pretty much brings up first and 15 here. This is what you want if you're coffee County. Get Blackman yeah. behind the sticks a little bit. Two receivers left, one to the right. Beam still at quarterback, and he's got Pleasant next to him. Offset a little to the back. It's almost like a pistol formation. Hard count. Now he's going to look to the sideline to get his play. Coffee County doesn't really change much up defensively. Beam takes the snap. He's looking to throw now. He's looking deep. He's going to bring it back to a comeback route. Called at the 38. Up and inside for Blackman is Mark Cooper. Mark Cooper trying to cross the field. He's going to cross field again. He's at the 30. The 25. He throws a stiff arm to Verge to the 10, to the 5. And he's going to fight all the way into the end zone for a Blackman touchdown. He reversed fields twice on that play, Murray. Unbelievable run and catch for right there for Mark Cooper. Just not good tackling he by Coffee County. He wasn't going to be tackled. He wasn't going to be tackled. Cut back across the field a couple of times. Good blocking once he got around the corner, but not a great job of tackling by Coffee County. That's a big 43-yard touchdown pass from Beam to Cooper, and Blackman leads 6-0. On to kick the extra point for the Blaze is going to be Jackson Satterfield. Left-footed kicker puts it up. And through. It's 7-0 Blaze with 7.39 to play on the Coffee County Bank scoreboard. Coffee County's trying to win this football game. You need to bank with a winner. You bank with Coffee County Bank. Three As a young high school student, I've always been afraid of commitment. I mean, selecting just one out of everyone out there and then sticking with them, that's pretty scary. But my guy, he made it easy. He's always there for me. He always has the time for me. And when I need him, I just pick up the phone. Farm Bureau. More than an insurance company, it's about relationships. Contact your local Farm Bureau agent. So I guess you could say I'm one lucky girl, and someday I may take it to the next level. You know, maybe like adding homeowners and banking. I'm tired of my bank. I want to go somewhere that's better. Well, you know First Vision Bank can make it easier than ever. They can give you cash back on your everyday needs. And if you use a different ATM, they reimburse the fees. Wow. wow, that's great. G, thank you for the tip. Please, you don't have to thank me. Anyone can make the switch. If you're tired of your bank, don't let them treat you badly. Go to First Vision Bank right across the road from Zaxby's. Raider Centerfield to kick it off for the Blaze. Just a 10-yard stop right on that last play, yeah, Josh. That's all and it was. just, it just, and he just broke made about people miss. Tackles. He really did. Just made people miss. And I know Coach Haynes is, is scratching his head over that one. I know he's in, in somebody's ear, but uh, got a. It was a pretty good job of, of keeping Blackman 
you know, behind the sticks at that point. But, you know, big plays, you can't have those. And they got away with one there. All right, Sanderfield will set it up and kick deep. Changed out balls. I don't know if you saw that. We're trying to kill time. This has been a crazy start to the game. They got the ball teed up, and then the kicker went and changed out balls with the sideline. So now we're ready. Anthony Walker in verge back deep for the Raiders. You need a good kick return here. They want better field position this week. It may not matter. That's a high kick into over in. Anthony's going to catch it at the three. He's going to bring it out to the 10 to the 15. Tries to get outside, but he's hit and dropped quickly at the 16-yard line. And that's something that Coach Green didn't want to continue to have happen this week. It's bad field position. And they're on the stop for the Blades. Number 32, Titus Reach Kirby. Now, I like the fact that CJ caught on the run. It didn't really slow down. There was just nowhere to go. He tried to go around the right side, and the coverage was good on that side by Blackman. So they pin us down at the 17-yard line. That's where we'll start. 7-10 to play on the Coffee County Bank school board. The clock run on change of possession these days. Is, is it running now? Yeah. <laughs> it's still I, running? I didn't think it used to. It's been a while since I've been in the booth for high school football. <laughs> no, it's not supposed to be running, I think. Yeah, right. Well, no. Jackson Chimwell, the quarterback. You got Connor Heaton next to it. Everybody's really wanting to see more of him. He's going to take it. He's going to give it to Heaton quickly. Heaton's going to get met quickly by a host of Blackman Blaze. One of them in there is Elijah Smith on the stop, the 6'5", 210-pound senior. He's going to get about two yards, maybe yep. uh, maybe two. Gain of two there. Some Somebody coming up trying to give us a name correction. We're not, <laughs> we're not the PA folks. So, Unless they heard me say the wrong thing. But Blackman's got double numbers a lot. Yeah. So it's hard to tell who's who. Yeah. Well, just going to give him one. So now second and nine. Shimwell gives it to Heat and pulls it. He's going to run up the middle. He's going to cross the 25 to about the tw – they're going to be stopped right at the 25. Good run there by Shimwell. I know Coach Green's a little nervous running him this week because he's got a banged up left hand and he got a banged up backup quarterback. Yeah, but a good read right there. As you said, Heaton was hit immediately. A good pull out by Shimwell. Able to pick up second, so seven. So it's going to be third and two now for Coffee County. No tailback here. Shimwell will stand alone. Two receivers to the left, three to the right. No safeties deep for Blackman. Shimwell takes the snap. He's going to run it. He's going to run it on his own. He's going to cross the 25, 26. He's close to the 27. That's what he needs for a first division bank first down. Stop the clock. They're going to look at it. The clock actually did stop this time. And they're going to give it a first vision bank first down. Full service banking and first vision bank in Manchester from loans and mortgages, business and personal banking. First Vision Bank has services for you. Local partners, personal solutions. Learn more at firstvisionbank.com. Go see John Bell. Tell him I said hello. Congratulations. I think he had a, a, a child that scored a, a soccer goal the other night for Westwood, if I oh, read yeah. that correctly. Coffee County trying to scrimmage here, having to get players moved around. You see a new receiver, Zach Rinderneck. Didn't see him a lot. And Somebody wasn't in position to coach Doug Green's going to have to call a Steve Jernigan timeout. If you need your house sold, you sell it with Steve, Manchester's finest realtor with Coffee County Realty and Auction. Steve Jernigan, 8410945. You call him tonight, you'll have your property on the market by tomorrow morning. That's Steve Jernigan with Coffee County Realty. You're listening to Red Raider Football, and you're listening to Thunder. Every year, millions of people die from cancer. Over 630,000 of those people were also obese. Uterine, lung, breast, colon, and more can be caused by obesity and lack of exercise. Simply exercising regularly can decrease the chance of cancer by 40 to 50 percent. It doesn't have to be hard. Simply walk for half an hour every day, or run, jog, or play a sport you love. Anything to get you moving. Give yourself the extra 40 to 50%. Don't put yourself at risk for cancer. Get moving. Outrun cancer. For more information, visit cancer.net. Maybe a half a yard there. The defensive end did a good job and made Walker really bow it out to get around him, and the cornerback came up and stuck him, so a loss of one going to be second and 11. Checking in for Coffee County, Derek Scott going to play that tight end position. They call it the Y in this offense, a lot of blocking. Two receivers left for Coffee County is Anthony and Martin. Shimwell 
Takes a snap, a little high. He's got pressure quick. He gets the ball out quick, a little high. Tipped and picked. Picked off by Blackman. Returning it to the 40, to the 35. Picked up and dropped there by a bunch of Red Raiders. Was that Elijah Pitts? On yeah, pick? I, I didn't get the number. There's going to be some flags on this return, though, as Carden Stump was just absolutely blown up. Kind of a crackback block that you hate to see. He's still on down the on the field. Player, yeah. The, the pick's going to stand. It went right off the hands of Martin. A little high. Stump is up and being helped off the field. But I think they're going to get Blackman, like you said, it's going to be a personal foul. I'm not sure what they called. I'm not. That's super I've never, never, I've never seen, seen that. That was. But loss of 15. Nonetheless, it's going to be Blackman football. Yeah, it is. Blackman football. Ball just a little high from Shimwell. Martin went up for what he could, and it just tipped off his hands, and then back to the cornerback who was in good position down the field and just some sloppiness on the return is going to cost Blackman, but they're going to have the ball at midfield, it looks like, Josh. They're right at the 50, Deemer, with four minutes to play on the Coffee County Bank scoreboard. Coffee County Bank, check them out online, coffeecountybank.com. Keeping your money close to home since 1975. Three locations to better serve you, two in Manchester, one in Tullahoma. It's Coffee County Bank. Blackman will scrimmage going right to left on your radio dial. Beam in the backfield, and he's got his big bulldozer of a tailback, Hudson Jackson, with him. He's offset to the left, Jackson or excuse me, Blackman going heavy here. Got a couple of tight ends. Beam takes a snap, hands it off to Hudson Jackson, trying to get outside to the right side, outside of Gailey. Gailey chases him down and pulls him down after about a five-yard gain. Good job by Gailey to, in pursuit to pull him down, but you said it, gain of five, second and five, Hudson Jackson going to check out. And Blackman will take that every time. It's a good job by Gailey chasing that down, but the Blaze will take that. Checking in to the backfield for the Blaze is Jalen Pleasant. They got all kinds of tailbacks, Murray. They're just everywhere. <laughs> they do. They grow them down here. All in Murfreesboro. Drew Beam, the quarterback, got Pleasant to his right. He's going to take it. He's going to hand it to him. Cuts it up inside, right up the middle of that Raider defense, runs over somebody, and he gets up to about the 32-yard line. It's going to be about a gain of 13, and it's going to be a first down for Blackman. Yeah, and that was a good initial cut by Pleasant. Coffee County had, did a good job but had him contained on this left side, but he cut it right with the middle, was able to pick up that 13 yards and another 14. first down. They're going to put him at the 31. So good 14 yards burst by Pleasant. Pleasant remains in the backfield with Beam. Two receivers to the left for Blackman. Mark Cooper. Also looks like Michael Farnham, I think. I don't know. Beam takes a snap, going to hand it off to Pleasant. Doesn't matter. Right up wow. the middle of the Raider defense to the 20, to the 15, to the 10. Cuts it outside to the 5, to the 2, to the 1. Runs over somebody and takes it to the end zone. 31 yards, Jalen Pleasant right up the middle. And the start that Coffee County couldn't have happened has happened. And Blackman leads it early, 13 to nothing. 13 to nothing. Uh, extra point pending on the kick for the Blaze. Going to be number 83, Jackson Sanderfield. Long snapper for the Blaze. He's going to be number 43, Andrew Myers. Holding for Blackman is number four, Alex Garrett. Left-footed kicker. Snaps good, sets down, kick is up, kick is good. 14-0, Blackman leads in on the Coffee County Bank scoreboard. Coffee County Bank, Manchester and Tullahoma. Keeping your money close to home since 1975. Full service online banking as well at Coffee County Bank. Dot com. They have three locations to better serve you. We're going to keep it right here. I do want to tell you about the Cracked Pot in Manchester. Fall is coming up, Demer, and the Cracked Pot has some of the best decorations. You look, there's been a new big box store open up in the area. Don't forget your local business. That's right, when it never. Comes to your fall decor. The Cracked Pot, uh, stop by and see them for your best variety of seasonal decorations, wide array of gifts, and I'm, listen, home decor, handmade, solid wood furniture, as well as locally made goods. Their home decor items are refined, beautiful, and charming. Whatever your style, they have something to fit you. 111 West Main Street in Manchester. They're open 10 to 5, Monday through Saturday. That means tomorrow, go by and see them. Fall is almost here. Get the fall decor. And let me tell you something. You couldn't deal with nicer people. Pam and, Pam and Tim are great folks. Blackman to kick it off. Going to be Satterfield. Back deep to return for the Raiders. C.J. Anthony, Kelby Walker, and Kelvin Verge. Same three back as last time. I know Coach Green really wants that kick return to shore up a little bit. 2.44 to play in the first quarter. If you just tuned in, Blackman leads 14 to nothing. First region game of the year for both of these teams. New kicker, actually. Kick going to come down short. 
Anthony kicks it off his knee, picks it up with the 15, tries to cut and falls. CJ had that trouble last week, D. Murray. Yeah. Had trouble catching it. And it looked like he may have just misjudged this and tried to come forward really fast and hit right off his knee and it'll be right at the, what, about the 19-yard line. Yeah, the 19, he's fortunate. It took one one bounce and back right back up to him. But uh, nonetheless, not good field position again for Coffee County starting at the 19 this time. This was an area Coffee County was very good at, very efficient at last year was kick return. They're struggling with it this year. Raiders going left to right on your radio dial. Red Raider football brought to you by Al White Ford Lincoln here on Thunder Radio. Shimwell in the backfield. He's got Heaton next to him. One receiver to the left, one to the right. Snap, hands it off. Heaton up the middle, cuts his way through, crosses the 20, drags a couple of tacklers across the 25, and he's going to get drugged down at about the 26-yard line. Good run by number 22, Connor Heaton. That's a gain of seven, and as you mentioned, a very good gain on first down. Second and three. Blackman trying to get up saying they had the football, but no no signal. They're going to signal second down. So It's almost eight on the play. They're going to give him all the way to the 26, so maybe a little across. Good play there, good run. But he can call the county, sent somebody in motion left to right, kind of showed the jet motion to get some people out of the middle of the field, get the linebackers moving a little. Pick, pick up of eight there by Heaton, just a sophomore running back. If you're just tuning in, Marshall Haney banged up tonight. Is dressed, but not going to go if he doesn't have to. Jim, we're going to give it to Heaton again. This time he's met at the line of scrimmage. If he got anything, it wasn't much. First one there on the tackle for Blackman. Is big number 99, Cameron Pleasant. 6'1", 255, and I don't believe that. <laughs> no, not at all. Before uh, the buffet. That's he's a big guy. Going to bring up third in about two and a half. Maybe three. Coffee County's going trips right, two to the left. Shimwell's all by himself in the backfield. Play clock down to 10, plenty of time to get this off. Shimwell takes a snap, it's high. He gets the pass and it's caught by Walker. The 30, the 35 to the 40. He shakes a tackle. He's crossing the 45 and nears the 50. I thought that was gonna be a pick the other way, Murray. I don't know how. The defensive back for Blackman missed it and it just landed in Kelby Walker's hands. Yeah, not, right through his hands, but good concentration there by Walker as he did an excellent job of seeing that ball in as a defender ran right in front of his face and uh, able to get 50. a big first down, yeah, to the 50 and a big first vision bank first down for Coffee County. Wow, I thought that was a pick six the other way, and somehow that ended up in the hands of Kelby Walker, and then a good run after catch. Yeah, 24-yard pick up there from Shimwell to Walker. Trips left, two to the right. Shimwell wants to throw again. He's going to go that way again. This time it was almost picked. Right off of the hands of number 10, Cameron Buckner, who almost went to the house with it, and that's why he plays defense, not offense. <laughs> that's exactly right. Because it hit him right in the hands. He had that route red. That's film study right there, Murray. That's exactly they right. They had that last one red, too. Yeah, just, just missed it. Double move can come out of that. You're exactly right. And I guarantee Coach Green knows that as well. Second and 10 now. Going to do it again. Let's see if they go deep. Gotta Got to get em. somebody jumping off sides. Got them. Got them. That's going to be off sides on the defense. Number 32 from Blackman. I think that's going to be Titus Rich Kirby. Rich Kirby. A little an antsy there. So free five yards for Coffee County. We'll take that all night. Second and five. Ball now at the 45 of Blackman. Let's see if Coffee County shows that same look and works a double move in. Wonder if Blackman's wise enough to back off of that. Understanding that may be the next move for Coach Doug Green. Trips to the left, two to the right. Shimwell going to take the snap. He's under pressure. He rolls to the right. He throws downfield. He's got a man open. Is caught at the 20 and drug down at the 15 is Connor Heaton. 30-yard pickup right there from Shimwell to Heaton out of the backfield. Great Another. scramble drill there. Yeah, good job by Shimwell to escape the pocket and find Heaton down the field for a, full, a first vision bank first down. Full service banking at First Vision Bank in Manchester from loans and mortgages to business and personal banking. First Vision Bank has services for you. Local partners, personal solutions. Learn, learn more at firstvisionbank.com. Raiders are inside the Norman Construction Red Zone. From concept to completion, they'll take care of you at Norman Construction. Call Emily Norman today. I'll tell you her number in just a minute. It's the 16 yard line. Trips to the left, two to the right. Same set. Coach Green's found something he likes. Snap. Shimwa tries to go up the middle. That's going to be stuffed up. He's going to be stacked up and dropped. Loss of two. 
Loses two there. Back to the 19. She, Blackman was not confused there. No, good read by Blackman. Shimwell got all he could, but he just didn't, couldn't get much. Just no push by the offensive line. So lost there, going to be second. And it looks like around 13. Ball scrimmaging at the 19. We're inside of 25 seconds to play. Coffee County will need to snap it. Play clock is at 12. Doug Green taking his time getting in the play. Two receivers left, one to the right. Shimwell's got Heaton next to him in the backfield. Going to take the snap. He's looking to throw. Going to go up top. He's looking for Verge. A little bit overthrown. Going to try to almost run like a fade down there into the corner. Verge was up against Todd Lark. Incomplete. Brings up third and 13. It stops the clock with 6.8 seconds to play here in the first quarter on the Coffee County Bank scoreboard. It's Blackman 14, Red Raiders nothing. Coffee County threatening here, though. you got to think it's two-down territory. Yeah, yeah, you would think depending so. Depending on what you do here. Now, Ian Weldon, your kicker, probably has the range. Here. Yeah, from here, yes. Um, got a little breeze blowing out there. Wind's behind him. But, yeah, this third and 13, this is a big play here to see decide what you're going to do on fourth down. Trips to the left. One running back is Heaton. Shimwell gets somebody to jump but they don't throw the flag. So he's waiting on the call from the sidelines. He's going to move Heaton around to his right now. Shimwell takes the snap. He's looking to throw. Looking over the middle of the field. He didn't have it there. He's going to throw it late. He throws it away, and that's probably going to be grounding. He didn't throw it towards anybody. I didn't see a receiver in the area. The referees are going to talk about it. Let's see if they throw anything at all here. Either yeah. way, he's going to run out the first half. Uh, officials are still going to discuss this, going over to talk to the line judge. Yeah, was... Trying to see if there was a receiver in the area. There is yeah. no outside of the pocket rule in high school. There you go. you got to have a receiver in the area. And they're going to call the end of the first quarter, no flag for grounding. At the end of one, it's 14 to nothing. Blackman leading Coffee County on the Coffee County Bank scoreboard. Coffee County Bank in Manchester and Tullahoma. Three locations to better serve you, keeping your money close to home since 1975. You're listening to Coffee County Football brought to you by Al White for Lincoln. You can trade right with Al White. Check out their inventory online at alwhitemotors.net. You're listening to Thunder Radio. Bye, Mom. Love you. This will be my last time telling my mom I love her. This will be my last time walking down the driveway and her this would be my last time grabbing the mail. As you can help, please visit nhtsa.gov. For Coffee County, now height, he was the holder. It looks like it's Luttrell now. Luttrell going to hold for Coffee County. Maybe. Can't see the number. This is going to be about 36 yards. Snaps good, sets down, kicks up. It is high and spinning, and it is good. Weldon needed 36. He got 36 and a half. It's 14 to three. Red Raiders are on the board. The Coffee County Bank scoreboard. You're listening to Coffee County Red Raider football brought to you by Al White Ford Lincoln. You're listening to Thunder Radio. As a young high school student, I've always been afraid of commitment. I mean, selecting just one out of everyone out there and then sticking with them, that's pretty scary. But my guy, he made it easy. He's always there for me. He always has the time for me. And when I need him, I just pick up the phone. Farm Bureau. More than an insurance company, it's about relationships. Contact your local Farm Bureau agent. So I guess you could say I'm one lucky girl, and someday I may take it to the next level. You know, maybe like adding homeowners and banking. I'm tired of my bank. I want to go somewhere that's better. Well, you know First Vision Bank can make it easier than ever. They can give you cash back on your everyday needs. And if you use a different ATM, they reimburse the fees. Wow, well, that's great. Gee, thank you for the tip. Please, you don't have to thank me. Anyone can make the switch. If you're tired of your bank, don't let them treat you badly. Go to First Vision Bank right across the road from Zaxby's. Bye, Connor. Or not Connor Heaton. Bye, Ian Weldon. 
Coffee County to kick off. Speaking of Weldon, he'll do that. Back deep to return for the Blaze. And I see Mark, or excuse me, I see Charles Gaunt. Deep for the Blaze. I also see Pleasant. Kicked it on the ground. Falling on it. For Blackman is number seven, Mark Cooper, but that's the best scenario for <laughs> Coffee that. County. He falls on it at the 31, hey. and that's it. I'm good with doing that the rest of the year, man. I love that. The little squib kick, so they fall on it at the 35 or 36, but nonetheless. Now, the good thing about that last drive, Coffee County took some time. They got it down the field, kept the defense off, so maybe right. you can make some adjustments. Um, with that group and see if you can't make something happen here. First and 10, Blackman will scrimmage uh, and with the play-by-play -play is Dustin Murray. Thank you, Josh. Two receivers to the left. Looks like one receiver to the right. Hudson Jackson back in at running back. He's going to line up to the left, tied into the left. Now Hudson Jackson switches to the right side of quarterback Drew, Drew Beam. Beam in the shotgun formation. Hard count. Nobody jumps. He looks to the sideline to get another call. Players in motion. The running back and tight end swap sides. Beam, again, shotgun formation. Going to give it to Hudson Jackson around the left side. Good job, Coffee County. Travis Martin, first one to hit him. Yeah, looks Martin's like Jalen Williams, Williams as well. Williams, yeah. Yes, uh, so a good job by Coffee County. Best run defense of the night. Only a gain of two, so second and eight. Second and eight to 33. Blankman was trying to run behind Dakota Gowen, so they put in motion. The 6'3", 220-pound tight end they've got down there. <laughs> He's a junior. He's a large man. Two receivers to the left, they move one in, one receiver to the right, shotgun formation, give again, left side, Hudson Jackson breaks a tackle, a defender falls down, Andrew Height misses a tackle, first down yardage for Hudson Jackson around the Coffee County sideline on the left side. He's pushed out of bounds, it looks like at the 46, their own 46, but that's gonna be good for a first down. Yeah, he was able to get outside. I didn't see who fell down for Coffee County, and then Verge got blocked inside. The outside defensive back there, he wasn't able to hold contain, and it's enough for a first down at the 47. That's a gain of 14. Thank you there, gain of 14. I, I get you, Murray. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's hard to hard count and talk. It's hard to talk right now. <laughs> Two receivers to the right, one to the left, tight ends to the right. Beam looking at the sideline to get the call. Blackman taking their time. You Receiver to the left. Gaunt. Gaunt switches sides. He comes to the right. Goes in motion. They're going to throw it to him on a little quick out. And good job by Coffee County's defense. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. I don't know, Josh, if that was a forward pass it or a backwards pass, but nonetheless, it, Gaunt gets it and just a gain of one. Good job, Jalen Williams, Henry Garcia to come up and make the tackle. Is that Gately in there as well? Yeah, I don't think maybe, maybe a yard. Yep. That's it. So second down, nine yards to go. Beam looking at the sideline to get the place. Two receivers are going to line up to the left, one to the right. Lyman standing straight up, getting the play call. Beam in at quarterback. Shotgun formation. Gaunt switches from the left to the right. Beam back to pass, looks right, then comes back to the left. A bubble screen this time set up nicely by Blackman, but good pursuit by Coffee County. Kyle Farless was not full. Tunnel screen there. They had some room, but Kyle Farless was able to get inside early and was waiting on him. And he was able to pick up some yardage, about five yards. Yeah, just a gain of five. We saw Cooper in the open field earlier, so good job by Coffee County's defense to make that stop. Good job by, again, like you said, Kyle Farless. Also, good job pursuit coming back by Derek Scott. Third down and four for Blackman. Shotgun formation, two receivers left, one to the right. Coffee County's defensive backs giving a lot of cushion. Hudson Jackson back in at tailback. He lines up to the right shotgun formation again for Beam. Snap. Give Hudson Jackson up the middle. He needed four. Looks like he's going to get around six. That's going to be good for a first down for Blackman. Ball going to be placed at the 41 of Coffee County. He just runs so hard, Murray. He runs very hard when he get. It seems like when, one step in, he's full speed. It doesn't yeah. take him long uh, and, to get to full speed. And he's not the one that likes the juke and jab. He's going to go straight up the field. So, you and see. That's, that's what the hard part is. Defense. You get a guy that you know is coming hard at you, hard at you. All of a sudden, this next guy comes in. Gaunt comes in, and he's, you know, he's hitting the juke stick. That's exactly right. R2. Two receivers left, one to the right, beam back. He's going to drop back to pass. Looking to the left side, guy wide open. Looks like number eight for Blackman. That's going to, on the stop route, going to pick up about 11 yards. Going to be a good for another first down from Blackman. Looks like. Dowdy. A lot of, of space given out there by Andrew Height. 
So gain of 11, just a 10, just basically an eight yard stop route. Dowdy was able to get a two or three yards after the catch, but a good for a first down. Blackman with a good drive here, ball rest on the 30 yard line of Coffee County. Well, what, you get about 11 yards on that pass? Yes, I got 11. That's what I got. Okay, good, good. 100. <laughs> you get a smiley face. We're both sticker. probably wrong. <laughs> three, two receivers right, one to the left. Tight end's going to line up to the right. The small tight end. Height tightens up on his coverage at the top of the field now. Give from the left to the right. That is Hudson Jackson. Again, Hudson Jackson feeling his way deep in the Coffee County secondary, pulled down at the 14-yard line of Coffee County. Good for a gain of 16. And Hudson Jackson picking up chunks of yards in the tailback position on this drive. He stays in the game. The Blackman offense is just so potent. They have yeah. so many weapons. And so when you big. key in on one, you know, you got another one that gets going. Back up to the line quickly. Hard count again, nobody moves. So two receivers left, one to the right. Hudson Jackson's going to line up to the left of Beam. Beam in the shotgun formation. Gives left to right to Hudson Jackson. Good cut up the middle. Another good cut. Late flag comes in. I think Hudson. they're going to get a hold here on Millwood. Hudson Jackson gets it down to around the 10 yard line, but we will check the flag. Blackman's marching backwards. They sure are. It's like. It is a hold against Blackman. Back him up 10 from the infraction. Threw it right at about the 14-yard line. Must have been a little further up because they're going to mark it at the 21. Jalen Williams checking out for Coffee County, the middle linebacker. Don't know if that's injury or just needs a drink. Looks like Ray Ramirez checks in at the inside linebacker position. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Running back is Gaunt. He's to the left. First and a long ways here, Murray, about 16. First and 16. Uh, Blackman has to get to the four-yard line for the first down. Being back to pass, looks left on the out route. Man wide open. That's number four. Hit by Verge. Knocked out of bounds. A gain of around nine yards. Good pursuit by Kelvin Verge. Alex Garrett, the reception. Going to get about nine. Going to mark him down at the 11. So it's going to be second down and six now. Blackman can, like Murray said a minute ago, can get a first down before they get to the end zone. Pin pops. One, two receivers. This time, the two receivers to the right, one to the left. Beam in at quarterback. Going to give up the middle. That's Jackson Hudson going around the right side. Bringing some Coffee County tacklers with him. He's got a first down. He's going to take it down to around the two-yard line. That's going to set up first and goal for Blackman. Gain of about eight there for Hudson, Andrew Hudson Jackson. And another first down for Blackman as this has been a well ball-controlled long drive for the Blaze. Hudson Jackson is a 5'10", 187-pound senior. And he surely looks bigger than that. Derek Scott's going to be slow to get off and... We're going to have an injury timeout here, Josh. Yeah, Scott's going to go down as he's trying to get off the field, so we'll take a timeout with him. A Steve Jernigan timeout. When you need your home or property sold, or maybe you're looking for a home, call Manchester's Finest today. That's Steve Jernigan, 841-0945. That's 931-841-0945. Call him tonight, and he'll get your home on the market by tomorrow. You're listening to Red Raider Football, brought to you by Al White Ford Lincoln. You're listening to Thunder. As a young high school student, I've always been afraid of commitment. I mean, selecting just one out of everyone out there and then sticking with them, <laughs> that's pretty scary. But my guy, he made it easy. He's always there for me. He always has the time for me. And when I need him, I just pick up the phone. Farm Bureau, more than an insurance company. It's about relationships. Contact your local Farm Bureau agent. So I guess you could say I'm one lucky girl. And someday I may take it to the next level. You know, maybe like adding homeowners and banking. Yeah, from the two, got some new players check in. Looks like number nine for Coffee County has checked in. That's sophomore Ashton Farrell in at linebacker. The big boys in as his first and goal from the two. Beam turns around, hands it off to Hudson Jackson, and big hole on that left side. He just walks in untouched. And there's going to be a late flag. Very late flag. And it's going to be unsportsmanlike, I think, on Blackman. 
A little bit of play after the snap, I think. We'll see. Talking to a Red Raider player, too, so we'll see who they get there. But nonetheless, touchdown is going to stay in Andrew Hudson Jackson, two yard run uh, around the left side. And I do want to uh, give a correction. I had the number, dis I dyslexed it up, the number earlier for Norman Home Builders, 808 84 86. My apologies. And it could have been the guy that gave you the number. <laughs> I might have said it wrong. I've said everything else wrong tonight. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna pick up the flag? Oh, wow. He's picked up the flag. Just kidding. He's walking over to the Blackman sideline. Oh, he's sitting like somebody was punching somebody. Yeah. So. Well, that's an ejection if that's true, but I never saw an official signal from the official as to what the, the, the penalty was. Yeah, I haven't either. Two officials went to talk to the Coffee County sideline. Two went to talk to the Blackman sideline. Sanderfield on to kick the extra point for Blackman. Left-footed kicker. I don't see those much. No, you don't. The snap is a little high, gets it down, the kick is up, Satterfield's kick is up, and it is good. So with exactly seven minutes remaining on the scoreboard, it is Blackman 21, Coffee County 7. You're listening to Coffee County Red Raider football. 21-3. 20, that's right, 3. 21 to 3 on the Coffee County Bank scoreboard. Three locations to serve you. That's Coffee County Bank. Check out them out online at coffeecountybank.com. I want to keep it right here. I do want to tell you a little bit about Tri Green in Manchester. Nothing runs quite like a deer, Murray. So when we're making that big lawnmower or tractor purchase, work with a local John Deere dealer for the best service available. For all homeowner and commercial equipment needs, Tri Green Equipment at 812 Interstate Drive in Manchester. Zero percent financing on all new tractors. Ten year warranties on select equipment. And then, of course, there is the benefit of owning the best equipment around. Talking about a John Deere, you can check them out online. Do it right now from your phone, trygreenequipment.com. Visit them at 812 Interstate Drive. That's Tri Green of Manchester. Also not got a chance to talk about Tanova tonight, the Tanova touchdown. Hopefully we'll get to talk about that in just a minute, but I do want to say, if you've not heard yet, Tanova Medical Group Manchester is now open. That's right, Manchester. Located at Willow Drive next to Markham's Pharmacy, you now have easy access to quality primary and specialty care. Dr. Colin Bills, board certified in orthopedics and sports medicine trained, has welcomed Stephen Thomas, board certified family nurse practitioner, to Tenova Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. So whether you experience a sprain, strain, or more serious injury, they'll be available for you in Tullahoma and Manchester. For your primary care, Dr. Timothy Carter, board certified in internal medicine, and Jessica Pratt, certified family nurse practitioner, are available. That's right. Call today, 931-409-2194 or tonovaharton.com. I tried to give us a Tonova touchdown. You just let me have three, though. There, there is a 15-yard penalty on this kick. <laughs> yes. They're going to Satterfield. Or, that's not Satterfield. They got Somebody's another kicker. It off. Yeah, we're going to go with Miles. From T the Miles 20, Torrey. The 25. Off the 25. Straight for the come down to Walker. He's going to field it at the 32, and then he bobbles it out of bounds. At the, at the 32, fielded at the 28, fumbled it forward four yards, and we'll take it at the 32. Yeah, I had a chance to maybe get some momentum going forward, and, and Walker's done a really good job with the ball in his hands tonight. But uh, like you said, offense has second time tonight. It's happened yeah, it's, for Coffee County, mishandling the kickoff. Happened to Anthony earlier. Yep, Coach Green not going to be happy about that. No. No Doug Green show this week. We are on a bye next week, so we will have the Doug Green show in two weeks, live from Praters on Wednesday. Coffee County will scrimmage from the 32. Dustin Murray with a play-by-play -play with 6.57 to play here in the second quarter. Thank you, Josh. One receiver to the right, two receivers to the left. Shotgun formation is Shimwell. He's lined up by Connor Heaton to his right. Give to Heaton. Heaton stutter steps in the backfield, breaks a tackle, but then is hammered hard right about the line of scrimmage. A late flag again, and we will check the marker. Coming up to make that hit was Elijah Pitts, I believe, for Blackman. If you just tuned in, it's 21 to three. Blackman leads it. The time, the clock is still running. <laughs> they finally have stopped it. We've had trouble with that well, tonight. Yeah. Let's see what the penalty marker is here. Helmet Blow to, to the helmet. head. Yeah. So that's a another 15 yarder, I believe, unless it's 10 in high school. That's 15. So good for another First Vision Bank first down. Actually, Josh. Full service banking at First Vision Bank of Manchester from loans and mortgages to business and personal banking. First Vision Bank has services for you. Local partners, personal solutions. Learn more at firstvisionbank.com. Don't see my buddy Josh Carney. It's going to mark it at the 48 of Coffee County here for that first and 10. So near midfield with 638 to play. Big penalty. No yard gain for Coffee County, but get 15 because of the penalty. Shotgun formation. One receiver to the right, tied into the right, two receivers to the left. 
give up the middle. That's going to be to Heaton. Heaton, spin move, gets a couple of yards, gets to midfield to the 50. Good job by Heaton just to make something out of nothing there. Yeah, well, you know, the, the offensive line, the, the Blackman is doing a pretty good job of reestablishing a line of scrimmage in the backfield of Coffee County. They were about two yards deep. He did a good job to get – he really got four. Yeah, exactly right. Because the he line of scrimmage four. had been moved back, um, and that's where that size of Blackman really takes, uh, takes charge up front. Just tuning in, Marshall Haney is dressed, but he's banged up. Uh, not going to go tonight if don't have to. Also, uh, Matthew Pittman dressed tonight, but probably not going to go as well. Both nursing injuries. Shotgun formation, two receivers right, two left. Bubble screen. That's to Jalen Osborne, and that ball is broken up. It's Pitts again. Pitts with a great read. He's able to get around that block and, and knock that ball down. This is the play that we're, we talked a little bit about last week at the coaches show. And uh, if, if Pitts is going to keep reading it that way, we might take a shot up top in just a minute. Yeah, well, Blackman, very aggressive. The defensive backs are very aggressive. Um, and they know that Coffee County relies on that screen game a lot, so they're going to try to go after that ball and force Coffee County to beat them deep. They're saying, hey, we know that's what you do, but we don't think you can keep your quarterback up long enough. That's kind of what they're saying. Yes, exactly right. It's going to be Fowler and Osborne lined up to the right receiver, two receivers to the left. Shimwell, deep drop over the middle, wide open, Travis Martin. Good catch, Travis Martin down to the 30-yard line of Blackman. Nice pitch, nice catch, and a good first vision bank first down from Shimwell to Martin. Like Travis Martin receiving the football. He had a couple of good catches against Tullahoma. He's wide open there. Just a sophomore, the talent is all over this kid. As he's also a you don't see much, but a, a, a linebacker and a wide receiver. So he's got speed and he's got power. Travis Martin's going to be a good one to watch over the next few years. 21 on that completion. Thank you, sir. 21 in the first vision bank first down. In Coffee County, they're going to, or actually Blackman, is going to take a timeout. So Steve Jernigan timeout. If you need it sold, you sell it with Steve. 841-0945. That's Manchester's finest realtor at Coffee County Realty and Auction. That's Steve Jernigan. You're listening to Coffee County Football brought to you by Al White for Lincoln. You can trade right with Al White. Come visit me tomorrow. I'll be there for the Coffee Coaches Show. 2002 Hillsboro Boulevard. You can see their full inventory online at alwhitemotors.net. You're listening to Red Raider Football. You're listening to Thunder. My life has been amazing. I got my first car, met a girl, graduated high school, top of my class. Then I went to my dream college on a full ride athletic scholarship, graduated with a bachelor's degree, and remember the girl? She became my wife. Then some years passed, quite a few years. Then my wife and I built a house and had two beautiful children. Then I got my first big promotion. Life went on. I raised kids, and before I knew it, they were as old as I was. In my old age, I thought a lot about the legacy I would leave as I looked at my grandkids playing with the whitest smiles on their faces. My life had its ups and downs, but that's just life. A life I never got to live. A legacy I never got to fulfill because I died of an opioid addiction. Now my legacy is just a bottle. And we have whistles. Official timeout coming out of this timeout. I don't think you like the play clock. They're not whistling at us, that's for sure. I, I don't think. <laughs> I don't know what the situation is. I don't know is. what's going on either. We've Blackman's still adjusting. They're about to rush the quarterback. Well, and the, the defensive coordinator for Blackman is on the field screaming at somebody. He's bringing people off the field, sending people on the field. He may have had too many out there. He's I, bringing two off and sending two on. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's something to do with equipment. There's, they've had a lot of equipment violations, and it looks like there's two, one maybe taking a chain off, and I don't know what they're doing, but they had to rush two on because they've got equipment malfunctions. Two receivers right, two to their left. Osborne in motion, going to give it up the middle to Heaton. Heaton stopped immediately. Looks like he's going to maybe lose a yard. Blackman there to meet him as soon as he touched the football. Yeah, Julian Childress, also Elijah Smith back there. Reestablishing that line of scrimmage we've been talking about. Actually, looks like a loss of two from the 29 back to the 31. So, second down and 12, Coffee County. Kyle Farless checking in and coming to the left side. So, two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Shimwell in the shotgun formation. He's flanked by Heaton. Drop, looking deep. Overthrown as he had something wide open had Kyle to Kyle Farless. Farless on this left sideline, and just a little bit more air under the ball is what Shimwell needed. Overthrew him by just a couple of yards. 
big incompletion there. We were waiting for him to go up top, Josh, and then we had it. And those little splash plays we talked about we need to hit on. No, didn't hit that one. And the thing incomplete. is, though, may, that may get Blackman off of the ball a little. And right. a little less. Those corners, they might, might scare him enough to back him off. And even if you don't hit it, I mean, you need to hit it. You want to score. Yeah. If you don't hit it, you get him off your screen game a little bit and off of those quick slants a little bit, which, you know, Blackman's been all over. Big third down here, Murray. Yeah. Need, hate need to, to miss pick that up some one. yardage. Uh, nobody in the backfield. It's just Shimwell. Trips to the right, two receivers to the left. Shimwell looks left. Nowhere to th nowhere to throw it. He's going to run it. Goes up the middle. Looks like he's going to pick up about six yards. You'll take that on that play. It's yeah. third and 11. Now you give yourself a chance on fourth down. He's dragged down by number one, Elijah Smith. It's like down to the 24-yard line. So, as you said, it's going to be fourth and five. Very manageable here for Coffee County. But you open up your playbook here to almost anything in it at fourth and five. At fourth and ten, they know what's coming here. You can you can do a few different things. I throw it to the end zone. I'm with you. Yeah. Let's throw it to the end zone. Take Let's a go to shot Burge. or yeah. This is where you miss. You know, having somebody like Matthew Pittman just run that five yard underneath route. You need that here. Uh, Kelby Walker in that position is we're going to go. No safety side. Trips like to him. the right. Single receiver to the left. Eaton in the backfield. Straight drop is Shimwa. He's looking right on a slant route. It is drunk, jumped once again by Blackman and a good play. That's going to be Elijah, Elijah Pitts. Pitts. He jumps the slant route. It was a slant route uh, intended for, it looks like, Verge and knocked incomplete by Pitts, and Blackman's going to take over on downs at their own 24-yard line. Yeah, you don't need to allow a score here before the half, Murray. Uh, yeah. Coffee County gets the ball to start the second half. You can get a there stop here and, and be in respectable distance. It's a different ball game at halftime. 3.54 to go, Drew Beam. I talked about his inaccuracy before the game, and that's my mistake because he's five for five in this one. He has been spot on for Blackman throwing the football. And Blackman, the last couple of drives, has been very efficient. Not a lot of mistakes. They've had some penalties, but not a lot of crazy uh, mistakes, no fumbles, no drop passes. It's like the nose of the football is going to touch the 25. Now Blackman's going to go under center. Looks like it's gaunt in the backfield. They're going to give it to him on the left side. And he's able to squeeze out. It looks like about three on the left side of the offensive line for Blackman. Good job by the Coffee County defensive front. Looks like Braid Muehlhauser in there to make the stop. Yes. Also Zach Gailey in there. But it looks like squeezed out four, so second down and six. I see Russell Ralph out there for Coffee County. I've not seen him much. That's a sophomore. Stay under center. Gaunt. Stays in it running back. Two receivers to the right, and Beam comes back from under center. He's going to look to the sideline to get a play. You don't see that much out when the under center come back. He's now he's going to back up to the back uh, to the shotgun formation. Gaunt's going to line up to his right. Beam looking right, looking downfield, looking over the middle, wide open receiver, and a nice play by Kelvin Verge. He had a man open. That was Todd Lark, but Verge, a good job of getting back from a safety position, getting a hand on it. Ball falls incomplete, third down and six now for Blackman. It was actually defended really well by Coffee County's secondary because Beam had all day to throw. There wasn't a lot of pressure there, and the secondary held up just fine. And uh, Ralph, who was in the game for a few minutes, for a few minutes checked back out. And I think he was in there for Coffee County's Derek Scott, who's been a little bit banged up. Verge getting some more work at safety tonight. If just tuning in, we're Matthew Pittman not going to really play tonight. Uh, this time, shotgun formation, quick, quick job, a quick run to the right side, and a good job by the Coffee County defense. But the flag was down bef <laughs> before the play. It's a hold. The flag on. is down. It's going to be fourth down here. Uh, do you decline this and make them punt? It's going to be fourth and about five, I think, depending on the spot. Yeah, maybe. I think he just got back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I think I'm going to decline this and, and make them punt. I don't think they're going to go for it there at their own 26. Yeah, decline is, is the call. Can, can you ask them what they're going to do first? <laughs> oh, it looks like they're going to give him they're going to no, no gain. Yeah. So no gain there for Gaunt. And no gain. Penalty uh -huh. declined by Coffee County, and the punt team comes on for Blackman. Satterfield. Satterfield, the kicker and the punter. Anthony back deep to return for Le Coffee County. Place kicker, left-handed, left-footed punter. Anthony, as you mentioned, back to return. He's at about the 30. He's going to be at his own 36. Blackman running players on late. Snap is a little low. It rolls, and it bounces on Scatterfield, and it looks like he's going to be tackled down around the seven-yard line of it Blackman. Was a bad snap. It rolled back there. It bounced over Satterfield. Cal Farless was the first of about seven Raiders to get to him, and we have a first and goal, Coffee County. 
at the nine. They're inside the Norman Home Builders red zone. Norman Home Builders from concept to completion, whether it's remodeling or complete construction, they take care of you. Locally owned and operated, 931-808-8486. Hey, a break on special teams. Coffee County loves to see it. A bad snap there by Blackman. And ball rolls around, punter picks it up, and again is dropped at the nine-yard line. So that's where Coffee County will take over. You got to score a touchdown here. Yes, you do. to play. Here in the first half, it's 21-3 Blackman. If you can score here, go into the locker room, getting the football to start the second half. So first and goal, Coffee County from the nine. Shotgun formation, Walker in motion. Give to heating up the middle. He looks like he's going to gain a couple. Going to take it down to the six. Elijah Smith is the play side defensive end who Connor Shimwell is reading there. He stayed out and forced the handoff and then made the tackle. <laughs> he's very athletic. That's, it's unfair when you're that athletic. He's 6'5". Getting some looks at, by big schools. He forced the handoff. He stayed Press outside. It. And made the tackle. And then went and made the tackle. Ins inside. Inside, yeah. Mm -hmm. So ball resting at the six of Blackman. Coffee County, minute 58 to go here in the first half, looking to capitalize on the good field position. Shotgun formation is Shimwell. Two receivers right, one to the left. Shimwell back to pass, looking for a little screen. Intended for Heaton and falls incomplete. Shimwell took a pop after he released the ball, and he's, he's holding not that, feeling good. Is he holding that left hand, Murray? Because that was a concern, and he is trying his best to stay up and in the game because he knows there may not be a backup quarterback to come in for him. That left hand was problematic for him, and he got hurt in the Tullahoma game. He's going to stay in there. He almost had heat on that screen. He didn't have room to run. Yeah, he did. That, that would have been playing. Coffee County is going to take a timeout and talk about Probably this. a good call timeout there with 144 to play. You give Shimwell some time to rest. And you can talk about this play. It's a big third down. It is 21-3 on the Coffee County Bank school board. A minute 44 to play. It's a Steve Jernigan timeout. If you need it sold, you sell it with Steve and Coffee County Realty and Auction. 8410945. You're listening to Red Raider Football. Brought to you by Al White, Ford, Lincoln, and Manchester. You're listening to Thunder. As a young high school student, I've always been afraid of commitment. I I mean, selecting just one out of everyone out there and then sticking with them, <laughs> that's pretty scary. But my guy, he made it easy. He's always there for me. He always has the time for me. And when I need him, I just pick up the phone. Farm Bureau, more than an insurance company. It's about relationships. Contact your local Farm Bureau agent. So I guess you could say I'm one lucky girl. And someday I may take it to the next level. You know, maybe like adding homeowners and banking. Gets to your vehicle, they're just part of life. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe in five years, maybe your wife will hit the mirror and break it. <laughs> and you'll need to get it fixed. Rod's Body Shop is who you call. They work with your insurance company, not for them. 728-7288. They are Manchester's finest. Drive past the rest to get to the best. 3452 Old Woodbury Highway. Murray, this is a big play coming up. Yes, it is. Third and goal, Coffee County ball at the seven of Blackman. Shotgun formation, trips, receivers to the right, single receiver to the left. Blackman's now going to take a timeout. Blackman wants to see what Coffee County was going to line up in. Coach Kit Hartsfield says, I want a timeout, and I want to talk about it. We'll take one with him. It's a Steve Jernigan timeout. If you need it sold, you sell it with Steve. Manchester's finest realtor, 8410945. A minute 44 to play on the Coffee County Bank scoreboard. It's 21 to 3. Blackman, you're listening to Red Raider Football. Brought to you by Al White Ford Lincoln. You're listening to Thunder. What's this bottle and what the, this shirt? How did I get here? Jackson, you're at workout anytime. A new gym with state-of-the-art equipment. Keep your squats low and your standards high, because it's open 24-7. Now you're getting it. Complete with massage chairs, padding beds. I love workout anytime. Workout anytime. Your fitness, your schedule. to the right, single receiver to the left. Backfield is heating along with Shimwell. Shimwell's going to look left. He's looking for a fader out for Verge. Throws it in the back of the end zone. That ball's going to fall incomplete. A lot of, 
A lot of hand contact by both players there, but the ball nonetheless falls in complete minute. 39 to go, fourth and goal from the seven yeah, for Coffee County. Fade to Verge, Todd Lark defensively, and Coffee County's going to send out the kick team here to try to get a field goal. Yep. Your kicker is Ian Weldon. He was good earlier from 36. This one will be about 24 yards, almost in the middle of the field. Ball down at the seven, middle of the field. Luttrell's the holder, snaps good. Placement's down, kicks up, kicks good. 21 to six, the Red Raiders are on the board again with a minute 35 to play in the first half on the Coffee County Bank school board. Folks, Coffee County Red Raiders trying to win this game. You need a bank with a winner. Coffee County Bank of Manchester and Tullahoma. Three locations to serve you, keeping your money close to home since 1975. It's 21 to six, Blackman leading the Raiders. A minute 35 to play here in the first half. You're listening to Red Raider football, brought to you by Al White Ford Lincoln. You're listening to Thunder. Every year, millions of people die from cancer. Over 630,000 of those people were also obese. Uterine, lung, breast, colon, and more can be caused by obesity and lack of exercise. Simply exercising regularly can decrease the chance of cancer by 40 to 50 percent. It doesn't have to be hard. Simply walk for half an hour every day, or run, jog, or play a sport you love. Anything to get you moving. Give yourself the extra 40 to 50 percent. Don't put yourself at risk for cancer. Get moving. Outrun cancer. For more information, visit cancer.net. Score where it's at. Yeah, we do. Appreciate the Normans listening in. Matt and Emily joining us tonight. So thanks for listening. Weldon to kick off from the 40. City kicks it on the ground again. Yep, he does. Low liner. Ball bouncing, bouncing is going to pick up at the 30. Number three. Uh, bad tackling by Coffee County. Up the middle is number three. Todd that Lark. is Todd Lark, and Lark is gone. There is a flag. There's two flags down at the 33 yard line of Coffee County, but Todd Lark breaks a couple of tackles and goes straight up the middle, shows off his speed. Coach Doug Green irate about his team's tackling. Yep, and there's a hold, so bring it all back. Penalties, penalties, penalties have been the key tonight for Blackman, so take a touchdown off the board. That's gonna be their seventh penalty tonight. Yeah, well, and, and you know, Coffee County, poor tackling again, but that kind of speed. Did you yeah. bust through there? It's hard to catch up to him. Somebody had him by the shirt tail and just kind of spun him around and it, and it created him the a, open field. It created a new hole for Lar. Yeah. That, that's why I was kind of stuck there for a minute. I was like, what is going on? So big 10 yard penalty from the 30. They're going to 34 is where they call it. So they're going to mark it down at the 24. Minute 19 to play. Blackman's got one timeout, Murray. So yeah, that's plenty of time in high school football. Yeah. The clock stops on the first downs. You got timeouts. So let's see what Coach uh, Kit Hartsfield wants to do. Does he want to try to get it down the field throwing it, or does he run it a few times see what happens? They're going to go two receivers to the right, one receiver to the left, running back to the right. Beam fakes the run. They're going to throw a little screen pass, dump pass to number seven. That's Cooper, Mark Cooper, around the right side, out of bounds, run out at about – the 36-yard line. Could be first down. Coming in motion underneath there. A little play action and dumped it to him. It's hard to cover that because he's crossing the formation and he gets a first down up to the 37. So mark it at the 37. Blackman 37. But what, 23 yards on that play? 13 20, yards. 13 yards? There was a 24. They got to the 37, right? So Something like that. 13 sounds good to me. First and 10. First and 10. Beam looking right, looking right. Nobody open. He's going to run. Sprints around the right side, lowers his head. A good job by number four, Zach Gately, to come up and pop him. Going to pick up about six, but the clock's going to keep running as he stays in bounds. Second down and five now for Blackman. So at the, 30, at the yeah, 41. Just give him five. Actually, keep going back maybe just to gain a four. Second down and six now. And we're inside of 45 for seconds to play on the clock. Clock running, two receivers right, one receiver to the left. Beam, shotgun formation, looks right, looks right. Going to throw about a slant route. Good at the catch at the 48. He's hauled down at the 50. Yeah, caught there by Blackman's number 14, Jacheri and Thomas. That's not right. Justin Brown. There's two 14s. Yeah, we're, two 14s on offense. 
It's crazy, man. They've got double numbers for a lot of players, but a gain of 13, that's going to be a first down for Blackman, and they're going to burn their last time out. Ball at midfield. And you have to with 24 seconds to play and the clock running. We'll keep it here uh, and, and, and just keep the Steve Jernigan timeout at the field. If you need your home sold, your property sold, or maybe you're looking for a home, uh, I've used Steve Jernigan a few times, and I'm telling you, I called him one day at like 3 o'clock and said, hey, I want to sell my house. At 4.30, it was on the market. At 6 o'clock, it was sold. I'm not kidding. <laughs> That's how fast he is. You call Steve Jernigan today, 931-841-0945 with Coffee County Realty and Auction. Red Raider football tonight brought to you by Al White Ford Lincoln. You can trade right with Al White. Your truck has never been worth more in trade-in. People buying trucks, trading them in three years later for more or just what they paid for them. They didn't defend. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. So go check them out tomorrow. See what you can get done at 2002 Hillsboro Boulevard. And also, while you're out tomorrow, between 10 and 5, the Cracked Pot is open. A new big box store is open locally. Hey, nah. you keep it with your local folks. That's right. The Cracked Pot in Manchester, 111 West Main Street, 10 to 5, Monday through Saturday. They got all the fall decor out and ready for you and your wife and your husband and whoever to go do some shopping. Shotgun formation is beam. Two receivers to the right, one receiver to the left. Beam back to pass. Looking left, hit as he throws. Deep out route, and ball falls incomplete. Good job. Jalen Williams pressuring there. Zach Gailey pressuring there for Coffee County. Getting in Beam's face may have forced him to throw it about a step early. Yep, he did. And a 15-yard out went to Cooper. Cooper unable to haul it in, so it's going to be second down and 10 from the 50-yard line. Only five seconds ran off on that play. That's crazy. Simple. That ball was in the air a long time. Because they threw it from the, sh the long side of the field, the long sideline, the 19.4. To go. Shotgun formation, two receivers left, one to the right. Beam drops back to pass. He's looking left, looking left. Nobody open. He's going to tuck it and run. He's at the 50, the 40, the 35. He runs out of bounds at the 35. Going to be a first down for Blackman. Josh, how much time we got, we got left? 11.1 to play. And this is an interesting situation now if you're Blackman. You don't have any timeouts. It's a 52 yard field goal from there for Satterfield. So I don't think you can kick that. So you may, maybe you try one towards the sidelines here, get a little closer. Yeah, probably. Coffee County was in man defense again. on that play, so you know once the quarterback escapes, everybody's turned downfield. And Blackman's going to go trip receivers to the left. They're going to go tight end to the right. They're going to run back to the left. Beam in shotgun formation. He's going to look left, looking left, looking left. Nobody open. A little pressure from Brown. Throws underneath. Ball incomplete. 4.4 seconds to play. They were trying to go with a wheel route up the left side of the field. It looked like Murray was well covered by Coffee County, and they flushed Beam to the right, and he couldn't throw it. Yeah, good job by Height to cover that wheel route. Ball was thrown hard to Lark. Went through his hands. Good coverage there by C.J. Anthony, but it's going to be third down and 10 now, or actually second down and 10. Ball at the 35. I think they're just going to throw this up to the end zone. 4.4 to go. So, yeah, we wondered about the leg of the kicker. It's not got it, so they're going to go to the end zone here. Four and a half seconds to go. Justin Brown, Todd Lark, your receivers here. Beam, drop to back. He stands at the 45. He comes up to the 40. He looks to the end zone. And uh, somebody somehow gets wide open. Coffee County defensive backs with their heads stuck looking at the quarterback. Todd Lark. Todd Lark. Wide open in the corner yeah. of the end zone on a Hail Mary type play from the 35. And it just looks like that they were going to throw a Hail Mary play. And it looks like Lark just broke off and came down to the sideline. And nobody saw him. So Lark wide open, 35 yard touchdown from Beam to Lark and a big touchdown for Blackman That's for the first half. As you get to the half, you were going to be able to go to the locker room and get the ball to start the second half. Two weeks in a row, Murray, a late score. Kick by Satterfield's up. Kick is good. 28 to 6, and that is the half. Blackman with the lead. Coffee County will get the ball to start the second half, but you can see Coffee County walking off, dragging off the field, heads down. They're going to have to regroup, get the ball, and hopefully go down and score some points uh, in the second half. It's 28 to 6 on the Coffee County Bank scoreboard. That's right, Coffee County Bank in Manchester. You need to bank with a winner. They got two locations in Manchester, one location in Tullahoma. You can check them out online at coffeecountybank.com. They even have a really good app. Check that app out. You can do all your banking online. You transfer funds from one account to the other account. You can do it as many times as you want to. It's a great, secure app as well. That's Coffee County Bank. Check that out today. You're listening to Red Raider Football on Thunder Radio, brought to you by Al White for Lincoln. It is halftime. We're going to take a break. We'll bring, we're will going to get you to Courtney Steer in the studio. We're going to get you some halftime scores from all over the place. We'll come back here for some stats here in just a little while, uh, and then we'll have second half action for you right here on your hometown station right here on Thunder 93.7. 